Okay, this graph here represents a uh, cross section of a ball of rate with a radius of r. In this case, the specific example r is 2.7. And if we are revolve this blue region around the y axis using the shell method, we should get the volume of a sphere or a ball with radius r. So if we're going to use the shell method, we want our typical shell to be parallel to the axis of revolution. And the formula for the shell method is 2 pi times the definite integral from A to B of height of the shell times average radius. And with either dx or dy out here. Okay, so here was kind of proof for this specific example that if we use the well-known formula for the volume of the sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and plug in r into that function, we get this volume. And here it is using a definite integral. Now, why f of x minus g of x? Well, f of x is this part of the circle right here. So for each x, if I take the positive square root of r squared minus x squared, I get this y value. And if I take the opposite, I get this y value. And so the height of the shell is this y value minus this y value, which this is like a negative y down here. So that's why we have f of x minus g of x, because this was f of x, and this part of the circle is g of x. <clears throat> so what we want to do is evaluate this definite integral, where r is a constant, and see if we get this formula. That's what we're really doing. So here's our original setup, height of the shell times the average radius from 0 to r multiplied by 2 pi. So if we take f of x minus g of x, we get two of those square roots. And now it looks like u substitution is going to work pretty well because of this little x sitting out here. So if we let u equal the radicand, du is minus 2x dx. So for u substitution, we want minus 2x dx. So I have to put a minus there and then a minus out front. And here's what we get after the u substitution. Notice that when u, I'm sorry, when uh, x equals 0, u equals r squared. And when x equals r, u equals 0. That's why I have these limits written like this. Since we don't like to work with negative numbers in particular, we use the theorem on definite integrals that if we interchange the upper and lower limits, we change the sign of the coefficient. So, And then we substitute uh, for u. The square root of u is u to the one-half. Here's the antiderivative. Two-thirds u to the three-halves, evaluated from 0 to r squared. And finally, you can see that if I raise r squared to the three-halves power, I get r cubed. And 2 pi times two-thirds is 4 pi over. So that's the volume of the sphere with radius r right there. And we showed it using the shell method on a region bounded by a semicircle. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.